Wake up! It's time to learn Chop Suey by System of a Down. I think for how cool this song sounds, the beats themselves aren't actually that tricky. The main thing you need to keep an eye on is whether you're in normal time, half time, or sometimes double time as well. There's a little blast beat in there which might be a tiny bit tricky, but I think with a little bit of practice, you're going to get this one down in no time, and then it's heaps of fun to play on the kit. So let's get straight onto it, and I'll show you what's going on. The first thing in the drums is the all-important lone hi-hat, just all by itself, just before the toms come in. So don't spend too much time practicing that one, but then we're onto our tom groove, we've got the kick drums playing four on the floor, and just this rhythm over the top on the toms. Then we build up using eighth notes, kick drums, and both toms, with a flam on the very last eighth note. And then we are into our main groove, and I've written this one just in normal time, even though we do end up in half time for a bit, and also we end up in double time for a bit, I'm treating this as the main pulse, okay? So the groove goes like this. You're more than welcome to play eighth notes on the hi-hats through that, just so long as you really bring out that quarter note accent, because that's what you can mostly hear in the song. Then we are straight into our verse, I guess, where we go, wake up, grab a brush, put in a little makeup. Okay, so for starters, we're on the snare drum, but then all the other accents are going to be on the hi-hats, and we've got kick drums playing along as well. Next up we're in our pre-chorus where it's the call and response and we've got this groove that's not too tricky and a little fill at the end, just goes like this. Then we're into our chorus which is in half time. For this first chorus we're only going to play half a chorus but we're over on our ride cymbal playing eighth notes, and our snare drum is on beat three because that's what makes it half time. So, all together, it will sound like this. Then we jump into our beat that we use just after the tom section. And then we have a great little blast beat just before we go into the next verse. So that brings us into verse 2, which is once again those sharp stabs. And I didn't mention the first time, but you could definitely play 16th notes on the hi-hats through those with just your 8th note kicks. It might sound a little bit better, I couldn't hear it in the recording exactly, but I do think that it will totally work and it's very easy to add in. Then we move into our pre-chorus again, and then we move into our chorus, but this time we're playing the full length of the chorus, and in the second half, the kick drums just change a tiny bit, like this. We finish that section with a crash, there's a tiny rest before we count in the next section, which is going to be in double time, and it's right before the bridge as well. So I'll count it in, and then we'll go into the double time bit. So 
So that bit is double time, and then that leads us straight into our bridge, which is where the shouts are saying father, and for starters, we're over on the hi-hats, and then in the next bit, we're gonna move up onto the crashable, playing just the same thing. For the next section, we're breaking it back down on the ride cymbal, but there are definitely some left-handed crash cymbals in there, just because I can hear the ride cymbal and the crash going at the same time. So that's the clue that we're definitely playing that with our left hand. The kick drum and snare drum are just on the beat, so it's nice and easy. Let me play through it. Then that brings us to the same feel as the second half of our chorus. So once again, this is what that sounds like. And then to finish up the song, we just pull things back a tiny bit, play a crotchet triplet on the crashes, I can kind of hear some snare drums in there, but feel free to leave them out because I wasn't really sure if they're in there or not. But anyway, this is what the very last part will sound like. And there we go, that is how you play Chop Suey by System of a Down. The main trick is definitely just navigating those time changes from normal time, half time, and then into double time for a little bit as well. The feels aren't too tricky, so hopefully you'll have this up and running in no time. Happy practicing guys, and I'll see you very soon at the next lesson.